Hey everybody, it's Sharice and I'm back cooking in the kitchen today. And actually what I'm going to make today, I'm not going to cook at all. It's a thing called overnight oats. Have you tried those? If not, it may be something you may want to try, especially if you're getting up in the morning early, you don't have time to really prepare breakfast, but you want to eat. This is really simple. It I'm going to do a recipe. This is not my original, so I'm not going to claim this one. This is called a French toast overnight oats and it has one cup of milk, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one cup of quick oats, I'm reading the recipe, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one tablespoon of chia seeds. The only thing I'm going to add is like a half scoop of protein powder. That's it. Alright, so let me go ahead and get to doing this recipe. So we're going to start with either a mason jar or in my case I like to recycle my jars that I get um, whatever like sauces or any of that kind of stuff in once I get enough of them I stop recycling but I do like to recycle my jars so I'm going to start with my one cup of milk I'm just going to pour it directly into the jar and I'm going to do my one cup of oats and these are quick oats oh boy making a mess let me see if I can do this without making a mess here there we go and we're going to do two tablespoons of maple syrup of course if you're like me and you have a sweet tooth which I really need to stop but I have one um, I tend to do more because I do like it sweet. <clears throat> it's my downfall. You guys are getting to know me very well. Um, you're going to do two tablespoons of maple syrup. So for me, I'm going to do two and a half because I like sweetness, which is not good for me. And we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon now I have not personally tried this recipe I have made um, overnight oats I've made apple pie overnight oats I've made peanut butter and chocolate overnight oats and I think I made like lemon maybe like a lemon poppy seed one I can't quite remember it's been a while since I did these um, and we're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla. Seems like quite a bit of vanilla for this, but I'll go with it. And a tablespoon of chia seeds. <laughs> and then this is just me adding in a little extra protein you don't have to add the protein in if I can find it so I don't know where my scooper did, went off to I probably oh here it is I'm sorry you guys I'm talking to myself okay, I'm going to do a half scoop of protein powder All right, all you're gonna do is put your lid on and you shake it. You shake it to combine it. And that is all there is to it. Um, you can put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours or you can keep it overnight. My goal is to keep mine overnight and then I'll eat it in the morning. You can eat it cold if that's your thing. Cold oatmeal is not for me. So I will typically just warm this up. I'll take the lid off of it, warm it up 30 seconds to a minute, stir it, and then just see, you know, until it gets to the temperature that I like. And I'm telling you, they're really good. They're really easy, really simple. So it's something you should try. It is a basic recipe, uh, excluding the cinnamon. Um, outside of that, if that is the basic recipe to make overnight oats. Alright, you guys have a great day.